My husband was in hospice. Well, I guess this was before he went to hospice. I got a call from a friend of mine one evening, and I did not realize her husband had just passed away. And in fact, I didn't realize that until partway through the conversation. And she said, I'm calling you because I don't want you left with some of the feelings that I'm left with. Her husband had died unexpectedly and she left him in a hospital room, expected to come back the next morning for him to undergo surgery. And she said, Ruth, I don't even think I said good night. All I can remember saying is, I'll see you in the morning. So I downloaded the book immediately and stayed up all night writing him a letter based on the book. And I forget how exactly uh, my friend told me about Jody. And then I think not long after I downloaded the book, I think this was at like 2.30 in the morning or something, I got a, a lovely email from her offering to be there for me if I needed to talk. And so I spent the night writing him a letter and I read it to him almost every day until he died. I would encourage everybody who loves somebody <laughs> to get the book. Um, I was a little too uh, raw this past year to do it, but before my son's next birthday, it will be his 28th, I'll use the book to write him a letter.